Okay, I'm going to be demonstrating a, a little machine I built to kind of automate the process of making the, uh, these little arc pieces for a spherical speaker. And the final pieces I'm talking about are, are these right here. You need 32 of these to make one spherical speaker shell. So, and, and it's made up of, uh, of uh, different numbers of, of these three pieces here. This I call an, an A piece. You need 64 of those to make a sphere. And this is I call a, a, a B piece. You need 64 of those to make a sphere. And that I call a C piece. You need 128 of those. So obviously it's a lot of art cutting. So to make that tedious task go faster and more importantly to make the pieces uniform, I uh, made this little machine to uh, cut perfect arcs. And here are some of the finished arcs that I'm cutting now. As you can see they're very uniform and straight, which is what I want. But then you glue, glue these A pieces and the B pieces and the C pieces together to get this and then cut it into a tapered orange slice. And uh, you assemble 32 of those and you have a, a sphere. So this is the machine and uh, Basically, come around here. Basically, uh, I'm cutting them out of uh, MD three quarter inch MDF stock for the uh, A pieces and the C pieces. The B pieces use one inch MDF, and these holes that I've cut in here using this template uh, give the proper spacing so when I slide the the material through to cut each slice it's exactly in the right position and also putting a nail in that holds it from moving back and forth. So as you can see I've cut those four pieces out of this already but now I'm going to cut one more piece just to show how the machine works. Um, so basically here's the, the uh, scroll saw and this spring puts tension on it so it'll cut automatically. I have it hooked up to a vacuum. So this is right after it cut a piece. So to, to cut the next piece, you'd simply, uh, first you take this nail out, this locator nail out, so you can slide the material forward. Bring the arm back like this. Slide the material forward to the next position, which is approximately right there. And then you have to kind of jiggle it back and forth to find the exact location. There it is. So now we're ready to cut the uh, ready to cut the outside radius of the next piece. So basically I just turn the uh, vacuum on and the scroll saw on with this switch here. <laughs> I have on the uh, handle, release it, and then shove the saw back to the to the inside radius position, which is essentially an inch and a half shorter. Lock it in place again. Turn everything on. <laughs>
repeat, and then uh, <coughs> be uh, ready to cut the next piece. You just slide it back, uh, take the nail off, pull it forward from the location of the next piece, and uh, we're ready to go. Uh, obviously, I I haven't got the tension on the spring quite strong enough yet, so it'll, it'll go faster once I fine tune that a little bit. And uh, also, it's still the vacuum doesn't get all the dust, but uh, I just have to uh, maybe work with this with this hose or clean out the vacuum so it sucks more. So, but that's basically it. You just have to repeat that process and uh, cut out all the pieces you need.